then drives forklift at Shark, but the Shark that ate the zombies directly mutated into a monster with long legs. The combat power directly soared. They rushed into the warehouse, but the supervisor was left behind. The man thought about going back the same way to save him. After being reminded by his companions, he changed into a shark suit, but the zombie sharks were too powerful to fight. The man was no match for the shark, and then the supervisor accidentally ran into a zombie. In order to distract the shark, the man's companion came to his aid with a forklift. The man immediately went to rescue the supervisor, but there were too many zombies. Eventually, he was pounced on and didn't. It's a good thing he's wearing a shark suit. On the other side, his partner abandoned the forklift and fled. The woman was also in time to attract the zombies with her music speaker. Eventually the zombies were all attracted to the water, and the man trapped the shark in a hole in the wall. Just when they thought the crisis was over, the shark broke through the wall and attacked the supervisor. The man rushed forward to check on him, but the shark bites his arm. Panicked, his companions did not know what to do, but the woman came up with a brilliant idea. There's a sensor inside the shark's head, so they decided to attack the shark with an electric shock. For the sake of their friend's safety, the companion was willing to risk it all. He managed to drive the shark away, but while the woman was talking, the shark suddenly agitated and knocked the man out. The companion attracted the shark to him. He threw a taser at the man. The scene reminds the man of a rugby match they once played together. Luckily, this time, the pass went smoothly. The man caught the stunner and subdued the shark.